Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4. So we're just going to keep going where we left off with yesterday. Uh, last episode we, eh, we we finished prosecuting our war up here. Didn't get as much as I wanted because I would have had to fight, you know, conquer Sweden to get 100% war score. So we only grabbed this one and this one. Not really, you know, financially worth it. But this one was just so I didn't have to worry about the straight crossing, and this one was just because I couldn't grab their home province. But uh, I did force them to annul their treaty with Sweden, which means they are alone in the world, basically. The Volunian Order. Now, the, the Volunian Order is or allied with Norway, but it's, it look, it's Norway. Look at it. Look at it. I don't have to worry about that. And our income is actually doing quite well right now because our uh, the really expensive advisor that gave us plus two missionary strength died, which is a little unfortunate, but, you know, shit happens. I do have to keep an eye on these uh, rebels right here, but as soon as I finished finish coring, I think the, the unrest is going to go down enough that it's not going to be a problem anymore. So, yeah, the unrest isn't very high right now because uh, it was because of the war exhaustion, which is going down. And we're about to core. So we'll see what happens when that when that hits. I love that noise. It's actually something I want to change really quick here. I don't like the how the audio comes out a little bit. So I think I want to turn this stuff up a little. Just one notch like that. Okay. Uh, I, I'm really happy with the way the audio sounds in Crusader Kings 2. I think it's, you know, you can hear everything just perfectly in the background underneath the commentary, but it's not quite right on this series yet. All right. Now, this is the one that was closest to hitting. And still 4.7 years. Okay, it's still coming from this place right here, so we're just going to have to bam. There we go. Man, the, the, when I first started playing this game, had no idea what the fuck this whole thing was for. No idea what its purpose was. I'd just be like, click, 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 click. Wait, why don't I have any money? I love that I finally have an income of like pl of plus 10 coming in because now, really, I actually, I'm halfway saved up to a manufactory if I wanted one. But I think I'd rather do the smaller things right now. Like, the places where I'm already getting in some tax is kind of where I want to, you know, construct. Although, you know, putting a, getting extra tax in every single province is not going to be a bad thing. Just keep that coming. Excellent. Yeah, it's going down. Went down to 30% already. Now, what I should probably do... Oh, what do we got here? Uh, start providing advice for the trade development in Poland. Internal trade has been strengthened at the cost of curtailed imports and increased state regulation. While this decision to improve infrastructure has been appreciated, recent suggestions have caused many influential people to question this philosophy, or his philosophy. They argue that the king is taking the advice too readily and that we should look for mutually beneficial ideas with other nations, and as soon as the auto-saving gets away, I can continue reading, rather than seeking to dominate every area of trade. So let's, what are our options here? Thinking uh, is helpful. Gain mercantilism, that's good, and legitimacy. Yes, we're going to do that. Yes, and is this, no, okay, we're, we, we need three more papal uh, influence points to get the plus 10 legitimacy thingy. Anything to give me legitimacy right now is good. Anything is going to help. Higher prestige. Well, prestige I'm just going to get... Is it, I'm not gaining any prestige, but it's also... I have enough pluses that it's basically not going down. Okay, this is the only place where I'm having trouble. And it would take 12.6 years. I think I'll convert them before that happens, though. Is it going to tell me when that's going to finish? Missionary will have a monthly bargain of, of 0.6% due to the following. Uh, fully converted in August 1496. Ten years, no. 
Actually, yeah, it would because it said 12, I think. 12 or 14. A uh, gift from the state. A little bit of money. Um, yeah, let's take the prestige, actually. Every bit of prestige, and... So does it go... Does it go down faster the higher it is? I'm wondering, because I, I just looked and it said 0.13, now it says 0.62. Uh, Austria declared war on Switzerland, and we finished coring this province right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. The nation of Austria, our faithful ally, is requesting that you come to the aid in the Holy Roman intervention against Switzerland, Lorraine, and the Palatinate. Palatinate? This is a... Okay, got cut off a little bit. That they started Switzerland and allied with Lorraine and blah, blah, blah. You would join as a regular ally. Uh, I can't afford 25 prestige right now. But, okay. Uh, I don't plan on doing anything. Just so you guys know, I did that to save face. We're actually kind of getting close to the next, um... Diplomatic tech, which I don't think is anything terribly. I think it's just like a something for the coastline. Oh, it's an embassy, is what it is. It's all it's gonna get me. I um. Austria has always been able to field a massive army, and I'm assuming it's because they have a gold mine in there somewhere. Should I? I mean, what is it going to cost me? 670? I love that I have the Krakow University. That is awesome. I mean, the the privileges things did, you know, it's a bummer. It did, it did, it did, a, it's a, it's a big permanent 5% hit, but Krakow University negated that. And I think it was, it, 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 it hits early on, and it's like, if you want to avoid Avoid it, you have to fight a, you know, like, a bunch of, you know, nationalist regiments or whatever they're called, uh, rise up against you, and it would have been really hard for me to fight them early on in this game. Now, if I was playing by myself, and I wasn't afraid of losing and, you know, having to start over, then I might have been like, yeah, let's fight the fuckers. And I'm pretty sure it gives me, what did it, did, was it a stability cost modifier? National under. Oh, if I wanted to boost it. Yeah, privilege is minus 20% to the cost of stability. It's got its it's got its positives and its negatives. It's kinda it's like it's it's like it's good in the short run, bad in the long run. So we'll deal with the, the repercussions for that later. Ooh, these guys are actually. They are gaining some momentum. Oh, hey, it's just this province that's causing it. So we're gonna beep. There we go. That'll basically kill that. What is it gonna say, like 40 years now? 83.3 years. There we go. And I'm, I know I'm at war and I have my ma land maintenance modifiers low. Not worried about that. And oh, God. See, this is what I'm worried about. I don't want to have to keep spending legitimacy to back his claim. But eh, I don't want a foreigner in charge. That's why I can't get my legitimacy anywhere. So that would give me a second missionary. Which right now I do not need, because there's only one province to convert. But the next one is stability cost modifier. I could save it up. You know what? I'm actually going to take it right now. Because that unlocked this guy. My stability... I'm going to have a lot of stability cost modifiers. I'm going to have a bunch. Stability is going to be cheap as hell for me. Yeah, that's going down now. Alright, we're doing good. Poland is doing good. It's a little broken up up here, but we'll fix that. Let's actually take a look at trade real quick. And I am now, I have uh, the most trade power in the node at 36% of total power, which is nice. Now, I have, see, so okay, still not very good with trade. I gotta, whenever I look at the number, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta look at this and think about what it is. That is 
my trade power in the node, so that's my trade power here, trade power there. Percentage of total. And I think, is that is that the money I'm making in the node? Trade value in this node is 2.14. 2.1. Is that just a coincidence? That's the exact same? Must be. I really want this place right there. It's another river. It's another important river estuary. It's got that trade power. Uh, oh. Our royal marriage with Austria has ended. Died in the middle of that war. Whoa! Oh, wait. For, for a second there, I thought Austria just went... Whew. No, that's just the... Tr oh, we're still on the different map mode. Still on the different map mode. Alright, there's that. Might as well grab it while we can. I mean, I don't really have this saving up for anything right now, so... What's the next thing? Naval morale and colonial range of plus 115. Ooh. So if I keep popping it into this, if I keep upping this, I might be able to get my colonial range up high enough to... colonize something? That would be nice. Oh, England, you're a bitch. Overran Scotland and part of Ireland. Let's actually take a look at the rest of the world, see what's going on. Strength of faith. Gain 10 prestige. How are we doing down here? Ooh, yeah. We're going to spend our influence to gain some legitimacy. Eh, it's not in the red anymore. Accepted peace with their former uh, enemies. Okay. Now, I did a lot. France is blobbing. Big blue blob. Hungary is hungry. Ottomans are Ottomans. Golden Horde is hoarding. These guys, Muscovoy, the future Mother Russia. I can see them being problems. Kind of glad I've got Lithuania right here. You know what I just realized? I haven't done a mission in a long time. I have no idea what my current mission is. Build more ships. Okay. No, it needs to get to... Okay, let's take another look. This needs to be... Objective 75% of our force limit. Accepted peace. So, let's see. What is our naval force limit? 17. Ooh. So we would need a big navy. I guess we could start with... I would build the cheap stuff. I don't want to build a navy that big. I honestly do not want to build a navy that big. If I cancel my mission, it'll be one year before I can get a new one. Okay. I want to build a navy, but I do not want to build a navy that big. I kind of want to focus right now on, you know just flooding this money into my economy making myself rich and strong like taxes in these places are pretty low to begin with I don't know if I want to keep going that way I get these armories would be good docks pardon me one second <coughs> sorry about that production efficiency marketplace See, I could get that. I could build these marketplaces, get that trade power up. Just finish. Now let's just let's just do it. Let's continue on with what we're doing and finish building those. Now, that armory manpower increase of twenty five percent across the board would be awesome. Cardinals across the border. Sometimes we have the chance to set something into motion without seeming to have done anything. One such chance of arise recently when a cardinal living on the soil of one of our neighbors admitted to an agent from Poland that he would consider moving across the border to support us in the Curia for a price. While this may be attempt tempting, there would be a greater price to pay if we take advantage of it than the rest of the country he deserts. So I could bribe him to come over. Oh, uh, Polonius, where's that? That's right. Where are we looking? No idea. Uh, not gain a spy mask. Let's do it. Lithuania. 
We're gonna take it from Lithuania. How is their opinion of me right now? Royal marriage from Austria. Let's actually accept that. It's actually still really high. It's fine by me. Uh, cessation of church functions. Noble families were often granted control over church lands and appointments were made in many states in exchange for cash contributions to the crown's efforts. The crown, of course, lost control over some revenue this way in exchange for a short-term boost in revenue. So I can gain 117 ducats, but I would lose... I would have a tax modifier of minus 15% for a while. But I do not want to lose... Well... Yeah, I guess we'll do that for now. Didn't really want to do it that way, but that's what we're going to do. And we actually have our manpower maxed out right now. That is awesome. We're doing really well, I feel. I don't know, like, considering this is the furthest into the game I've basically gotten, I don't I, I don't really know if I'm doing really well. I feel like I'm doing really well. Because the game seems like it's got a good flow going. Now, is there a way to see how many royal marriages you have going? I have one. So why don't we... Um... Relations, improve relations. Where is it? Is it dynastic? Royal marriage. They are okay, so I could try to find someone. So I have Austria in a royal marriage. Like like if I just find a big state somewhere. Brandenburg, I think I'd be okay with that. Sharing a border with them. Hungary would not take it. I'm just clicking on random places, seeing what's going seeing what's what. Let's actually go with Brandenburg. Our legitimate change by minus two when we sign this deal. So it would minus two right now, but it would go up over time. So we're gonna take that. Great. That legitimacy thing is just it's such a pain in the butt right now. So I can have one more real marriage, I think. I think. I'm not positive, I think. Right, let's just let's just do this just to make sure that it's always as high as it can be uh, Relations include relations there. These guys uh, most likely hate my guts An Alliance Yeah, I think I'll take that actually I was It's doing okay, it's okay No, I don't think See, the declared war, or was it war? Wants provinces, have cost us about. No, those aren't going to go away, and that's a lot of negatives. Let's try to improve relations with this neighbor right here. All right. Now let's do a little bit more construction. We were looking at that before. We did the temples. So if I built docks, that would get me more. a little bit of local trade power. So let's, let's build the docks here. It's just a little tiny bit, but it's a bit. Local production. Production seems like it would be important, but trade power is important too. But oh, I actually got those in most of the places already, so why don't we just... Uh, bing, bang, boom. Oh, I thought I had enough. Oh well. So we've got a lot of construction going, just basically funneling the entire country's, you know, financial, you know, its, it's financial might into big construction progress, uh, uh, processes so that I can kind of boost my economy for the future. I still love the idea of trying to set up a colonial empire as Poland, and that is going to be, that's going to be something hard to do, because what I, what I would need is... A powerful navy so that I could properly fight Sweden and try to you know whoop, 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 you know hop across this way I was planning on taking you know trying to grab the like whole Baltic Sea region so you know butting heads with Poland isn't not Poland I am Poland uh, butting heads with Sweden is not like it's outside of the realm of the scope of what I wanted to do. Realm of the scope that seemed, seemed a little redundant, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go, we're gonna go with realm of the scope.
Now, does having what does having more cardinals do for you? Does it increase your influence over time? Okay, yeah, it does. It looks like each one is 0.5 influence per year is what it is. Base value of 0.5 from Cardinals controlled, plus 2. Cardinal in administration, plus 0.5. Cessation of church functions, plus 0.5. And modified 5% due to the papal opinion of us for a yearly gain of 3.67. Ah, we can finally pick a new mission. So let's actually do that. Kind of bummed I let that go for so long. Okay. Wendon. Where's Wendon? Wendon is owned by Poland. I would have to have an army equal or larger to the Ottomans. 53. That's not happening. Become Papal Controller. What the fuck is Wendon? I don't even know where that province is. Uh, I guess we'll grab it. Oh, it's right there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, fuck. That would mean fighting... Muscovy. All right, neighboring to uh, tolerant heretics, rival causes belli, border friction, and wants your provinces for a pinion bonus of negative 152. Number of ideas three, so there are 666. Is there any way to see? Can I see what their military is like? No. I have no idea what fighting them would be like. And by fighting them, I mean, of course, let Lithuania absorb the blow and then trying to uh, ambush their armies before their morale recovers. That's what I mean. Of course. Of course. Oh, I'm so glad that I can properly record again. Like, the last couple days, it's been really difficult, but now I'm finally, like, in a good mood and I can, you know, have my proper enthusiasm. I know you guys have been bearing with me, and I really appreciate that, but finally feeling good about the recordings again. Yeah, my voice is still a little bit off, but it's the best I can do at the moment. I actually have a lot of time off. Got, like, the next, like, five days off, so I have a lot of time for my voice to rest. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have some live streaming up for the next in the next couple days. Super psyched for that. I'm so bummed I haven't been able to do it yet. Alrighty. A little bit more construction going, marketplace, we got docks, how's the, oh, dropped. Army maintenance, advisors, war reparations, trade, maybe my trade fluctuated. I think that's what that is. No, as much as I'm enjoying what I'm doing, it's just I keep thinking about what, I, I want to be doing grander things, and I kind of, I, I, I'm not interested in Europe. I am not interested in Europe. I am interested in in absorbing the Baltic Sea region and Scandinavia and island hopping over to Canada. I am interested in expanding in like, you know, I, what I should do is uh, reincorporate Moldavia here, um, revoke their 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 march, and then diplo annex them. Actually, maybe I'll start start working on that today. Because that, because these guys are Ruthenian as well, right? You know what? But I did lose that. I did lose my advisor that made this go quickly. So that would mean it'd be very difficult to convert these. But I do, do I have two missionaries now? I do have two missionaries now, though. Hmm. I don't know, it seems like it would, it, it would destabilize a stable region by incorporating them right now. Wow, that tax is in that. Tax right here is good. 7.95. Autonomy of zero. I love that. Alright, doing good. Doing good. 
Still waiting for this legitimacy to go up, but that's not much I can do about that. What would be awesome is having, you know, a nice, ha having a n nice trade power from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. Like, if I wanted to, can I go to war with Crimea? Cardinal's policy upset nobles. Since we made one of our cardinals a minister in our government, he has gone far beyond providing theological insights and innovated uh, significantly in the administration of Poland. Unfortunately, his suggestions of centralizing power... Let's actually bloop, 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 slow that down. New idea, nice. Central power is not possible without removing some authority from the nobles, who have begun to see him as an opportunist. At this point, trying to move him from office would dis, uh, dispute... Would blah, 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 blah. Okay, the minister is showing the path to the future. National unrest of plus one, national tax modifier of 10%, and 12 noble regiments would rise up, or he'd be removed, and worse, I will now be the, no longer be the seat of a cardinal. I'll, I will fight the nationalist regiments. I will fight the national regiments, and so I just like to take a look at this real quick. Now, right now, should should I sprint straight up to military tradition? I feel that's what I should do. I honestly feel like that's what I should do because that would, in the long run, save me the most from military tech. 10% across the board. So yeah, let's let's do that because that's only that's only 800 more to completely fill that out. And then I get that minus 10 military uh, tech cost. So that's exactly, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to sprint straight through aristocratic ideas to get that 10%. And then I will be done with it. And I'll have all that military power to spend on tech, which will be cheaper. I'm actually a little behind on the tech right now, but we'll, we, we'll, we'll live with that. Alright, so, uh, well, I think I will leave fighting these guys for the bidding of next episode. So everybody, if you've enjoyed watching this episode, just drop me a like, leave me a comment right down below, and if you are interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.